Hello, my name is Tim Roo of Mud Valley. This is one of our series of podcasts based around our tools. The particular tool I'll be talking about will be the market segmentation tool. And the idea really is to discuss issues around, in this case, segmentation, which run much broader than the tools themselves and to give the tools a context. But also I'll be going into how the tool itself works so that you'll have a, a workbook uh, to use for the tool, you'll have the actual tool itself and you'll also have this explanation of how the tool works. Market segmentation to many people is the essence of marketing. It's about finding an audience which is attractive to you financially. It is also about finding an audience that finds what you do attractive or even creating a profile for yourself and your brand that will attract people. And then in market segmentation you try and bring the two together. You try and find a group of people who really like what you do and who are also very attractive to you. And if you have that as a decent size market segment, then that should in theory, and indeed often in practice, make for a much more profitable proposition for you. One of the best examples, I think, of segmentation is Apple. Apple was up against, on one side, IBM, on another side, Microsoft. IBM's position was very much big blue. It's the, the blue suit, the, the formal corporate IT department. Very much business with a, a big B and geared to enterprise-wide computing. Microsoft had borrowed that tradition as well, and so Microsoft too was very much in the camp of being interesting to people who wanted to apply standard software on a massive scale. Apple was not going to win in that direction. It wasn't the sort of company they were. It wasn't really a gap because it was already well and truly filled by IBM in particular. So they, they decided to go another way. In fact, they decided almost to go for the opposite. 